Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, the week that was. It's Sunday here and I thought I'd share with you what I've been up to this week. So here goes. Um, I've been doing a lot of stuff for the market for my charity store in November. Thank you to everyone for the great feedback. I've got some great ideas and I thought I'd share with you some of the finished objects that I have been doing. So first of all, everyone knows I sell a lot of tea towels with crochet toppers and I'm aiming to do a number of tea towels per week. So these are the ones I did this week. I did a little Christmassy one, coloured one, quite long this one. And I did get asked for black or dark coloured hand towels. So I've done this one and I've got a couple more to go. So that was the tea towels I've been doing. And I finally finished off making loveys for all the toys that I had bought. So I did make this lovey I actually found in a whip bag. All it needed was finishing and the edging. And so there's my um, UFO landed. I finished this. I must have started it last year and decided I'd had enough of lovies. But he fits the little teddy and he has a nice red trim. And yeah, it's beautiful and soft yarn. So that was that one. And my little penguin. I finally made him an orange lovey. I made this one six point. So it's a bit because he's quite small, which I've got asked for. Small lovies, smaller toys. And yeah, little penguin has a nice orange lovey, my favourite colour. So they're the two lovies I made there. So one of the suggestions was to make baby items. And I went looking on Ravelry and I found a baby item I fell in love with. And of course, it's a lovey. It's a knitted lovey and it's for a baby. That's why it's so small and it is so easy to make. This is, and I have to read it, this is Levi, the Super Easy Knitted Lovey by Marianne's Lazy Daisy Days. I have made some of her baby stuff before a long time ago when I first got back into crafting. But this is incredibly easy and so cute. I made this in the um, Panda Soft that I bought from my Melanda craft market, the eight ply soft um, that I'd never seen before. Um, Magnum Panda, that one. 100% eight acrylic, super soft, and there were 189 meters in a ball. And made in Turkey. It is beautiful and soft, and I don't mind this color green because he's nice and bright. But yeah, I'll leave a link to this. In the description below if you want to have um, a go knitting a lovey this is a good beginner knit trust me would I lie to you <laughs> and his little face actually would you believe his little face is embroidered in silk cotton from the 1930s I have on a wooden cotton reel that I bought in Greenwich Village England it is silk and it's very old silk. That's why I made his face. So there we have Levi the baby lovey for a baby. So then it was suggested like washcloths or uh, dishcloths, coasters. I have made coasters before and um, they do sell around Christmas time but not any other time of year. So I may make some coaster sets. But guys, I was going to ask you about my washcloths. I've stolen this idea off a fellow subscriber. I know she won't mind. Um, she sent me an email saying she'd sold these baby washcloths on in her Etsy store and I thought I could make baby washcloths, not identical to hers because it's her own pattern. So then I went about and I made these two round baby washcloths. Ta-da! Just baby size. So just about seven inches in diameter. But now that is um, Creative Grandma Glenda's star. Where's my glasses? Star. What is it? Starstruck dishcloth. But I made them into baby washcloths. 
this is made it's quite stretchy with the um, cotton tone cotton on, tone yarn I bought in Melanda as well um, it's a five ply which I guess is like a sport weight yarn and um, it was it because I I can't find what I've done with the ball band. It's about 70% um, acrylic and 30% cotton. Or is it 30% cotton? No, 30% 70 percent cotton, 30% acrylic. I'll get it right yet. So I made these two round ones. Then because I had two balls, I had one of the light pink and one of the darker pink. And there was enough meterage left over. I made these two square baby ones. Now this is the tutorial by Bag a Day Easy Washcloth and the Primrose Stitch. I just, all I did is, is actually follow, followed her tutorial. But because it's a five ply, I used a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And I put my own little edging around it. So... They're my baby washcloths. I guess my question to you is, I've been thinking, do I do them up as a gift set like that, one round, one square, and sell them as a gift set? Or do I sell them individually? You know, square, round, or do a gift set? What do you think? What would you think looks best if I was to do package that up as a nice little gift set, baby gift set? This is beautiful and soft. My problem is with that yarn is I think I've discovered it's discontinued. It is Peyton's cotton tone. If I go back up to Melanda and she's still got some, I will be getting it. It was beautiful to work with. It crochets up lovely and soft for babies. Let me know what you think, individually or as a gift set. Leave your comments below. I'd appreciate the feedback. So basically that's all I've been up to is I've made a knitted lovey which I've really enjoyed and I've been working on some cowls. I've caught up on Nan's Next Knots. I haven't caught up on the mixed tape medley cowl. I am way behind in that but that's the way it goes. Life's pretty busy. Anyway until next time take care, stay safe and remember, life's an adventure. Maybe you should have a knitting adventure and make a little Levi for a baby in your life. Bye for now.